Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Impact with AI. We're here live at the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva, Switzerland. We have an exciting episode today where we'll talk about SDG 17 and entrepreneurship, a little bit different from interviewing the entrepreneurs that we usually interview around the world. Very excited about the conversation today. So I'll let my guest introduce himself uh, and then we'll get right into the conversation. Take it away. Hi, Brandon. Thanks for having me. My name is Samir Chauhan. I'm the director of UNICC, the UN United Nations International Computing Center. We are uh, a, a, an intra-organizational facility designed to support the entire UN system and beyond with all things tech, including AI. It's incredible, and, and it's an incredible mandate um, across the entire UN system. I'm sure that, that keeps you really busy. Absolutely. I think no two days are alike. Uh, we do all sorts of tech, starting from... Uh, uh, foundational tech where we host systems and manage them all the way to designing, ideating and creating cutting edge solutions uh, from small solutions to solutions that prescribe globe uh, that are global in their nature and very complex because support all sorts of uh, regional and language uh, diversity. That's incredibly important to make sure that the technology is accessible uh, to anyone across the world that might be using it. Absolutely. That's so true because I think end of the day, that's our top priority. Whatever we make has to work in every part of the world. Exactly. And yeah. I assume some of these technology solutions involve AI in some way. Absolutely. More and more so. We've been working with AI for almost uh, eight or nine years now. Mm -hmm. uh, in all flavors, in machine learning, neural networks, uh, deep learning, and of course now generative AI. Mm -hmm. And more and more in the last couple of years, as uh, AI has matured, we're finding ways in which we can deploy it across all the portfolio of work we do. Mm -hmm. So it could be, uh, for example, areas like our cybersecurity practice. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at uh, AI to say how can we improve us. And similarly, we're looking at AI for operational work. So in every aspect of what we do, we're looking at AI, uh, mm -hmm. as well as uh, new initiatives that are driven by AI. Mm -hmm. And I know you have one of those new initiatives that's the AI hub that you've created that I want to get into. But before we get into that, here at Impact with AI, we talk to entrepreneurs around the world that are using AI to impact the sustainable development goals. I brought you on to talk about SDG 17 that final goal when we think about partnerships necessary to uh, achieve the rest of the goals that are part of the, the goal period. Um, so how are you impacting SDG 17 and, and why is it an important part of your work? Thank you so much. Uh, so UNICC is a partnership. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we are constructed, we're a partnership of the UN ecosystem. So we live and breathe SDG 17 every mm -hmm. day. Uh, that's in our DNA. Uh, and uh, everything we do, it is for our partner community, which is the entire system. Uh -huh. And also in partnership with everybody else, the uh, greater world outside. So whether it's member states, whether it's big tech, whether it's small startup, innovative companies, mm -hmm. we partner with everybody mm -hmm. in order to achieve all 17 SDGs. Mm -hmm. So with that end goal in mind, what we're looking to do every day is bring the right partnerships together uh, and show impact. Wow, that's incredible. And I definitely have a number of companies that I've interviewed that might be interview, inter, inter, interested in partnering with you in some way. So now that we've talked about SDG 17, let's get into the AI hub that you created, because I think it's not only important to talk to entrepreneurs that are building AI solutions uh, from the ground up uh, on their own, but also to talk to entrepreneurs like yourself that are using AI to build solutions within organizations. So talk to us a little bit about the origin of the AI hub and how maybe you applied some of those principles of entrepreneurship. Yes, so the, the idea came from my board, which is the entire UN system. Mm -hmm. They asked us, now that AI is front and center and it's mature enough to be utilized, you as a common shared service organization should front run build capabilities that the rest of us can use. Mm -hmm. uh, and we found many, many examples where us taking the lead, uh, establishing the right partnerships can benefit the entire ecosystem. Mm -hmm. From something as basic as training all of our employees across the UN ecosystem, so we're mm -hmm. talking about hundreds of thousands of people worldwide, mm -hmm. uh, to making sure every single AI solution that's being deployed is safe and secure. Mm -hmm. It follows the ethical principles of where is the data sourced from that you mm -hmm. use, for example, to train the AI. Mm -hmm. All of those factors come into play. And that's something where we can take the lead. We can 
approve certain solutions, we can recommend certain platforms, mm -hmm. and then the entire system can fast track their adoption of AI. That's incredible. You know, there's so many entrepreneurs out there that have boards that they feel like are maybe holding them back and not allowing them to innovate in the way that they would like to. But it's incredible to see that you have a board that is allowing, not only allowing you, but pushing you to innovate and to really embrace artificial intelligence and the positive potential that's there. Absolutely. I think uh, I'm, I'm lucky in that sense. My board is very forward looking and technology is so important. AI is so important now that uh, no one can do it alone. Mm -hmm. So even though they all have very specific use cases where they know they can use uh, AI very effectively, uh, but they need a partnership. And mm -hmm. With us front running it, they've literally asked us to be uh, two steps to five steps ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Anticipate where the world is going, where technology is going. Mm -hmm. uh, find the right partnerships, the right collaboration, bring the right expertise. Mm -hmm. So yes, in that sense, I'm very lucky that uh, the board has explicitly asked us to do that. Now, are there any common friction points that you experience as you are developing these AI solutions? I know you mentioned making sure that they're secure, making sure that they're accessible. Is there anything else there that uh, you're having to work through um, as you're building these new solutions? Sure. Uh, I can mention a couple of the top of my head. So one, obviously, is the cost. Mm -hmm. So uh, these AI solutions may be very cutting edge, uh, but if you start to look at the total cost of ownership, mm -hmm. maybe the benefits you realize more or less match the cost of deploying it. So then mm -hmm. there's a broader question to be had to say, is this the right time or is this the right technology to use here? Mm -hmm. So we've started focusing on frugal AI. Mm -hmm. So to say, how can you realize the benefits of AI uh, but from the beginning, with a very wide lens, look at the total cost of ownership. Mm -hmm. What would it take to build it and operate this? Mm -hmm. And find uh, the most frugal way mm -hmm. to operate this. So you can still realize the benefits without having it cost that much. So that's one big aspect that we focus on. Mm -hmm. And the second one is uh, neutrality. Mm -hmm. Being part of the UN, we have to make sure that whichever AI solutions we bring in uh, can operate in all the different settings, in all the mm -hmm. different environments, in all the different regions of the world. And uh, that's a very high bar. Yeah. So we have to make sure that if we uh, choose a solution that gets us, say, 70 or 80 per the way there, yeah. uh, then we have the appropriate partnership with these tech companies, whether they're big or small, mm -hmm. that they work with us to bring it closer to 100%. Mm -hmm. So we know when we work with them and we deploy this tech, it can truly be scaled up. It can be used in different mm -hmm. settings, different environments. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Now... We've talked about uh, SDG 17. We've talked about how you're using AI. We've talked about your AI hub and some of the uh, pieces to, that you've done in building it successfully. Now, to end the conversation, I would love to hear how can people connect with the AI hub, connect with you and the work that you're doing? Certainly. Uh, we have on our website a page which talks about what AI hub is doing, what's it starting uh, with right now. We expect that over time we'll build more and more and more capabilities mm -hmm. on the website uh, which is unicc.org mm -hmm. uh, there's also details on how you can connect with us reach out to us uh, so that we can uh, see if there are areas of collaboration also uh, i personally welcome uh, conversation with all uh, entrepreneurs so. mm -hmm. well thank you so much for joining us today for this live uh, conversation here at the ai for good global summit uh, this is impact with ai if you'd like to see more of these conversations visit impact with ai media or subscribe on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Thank you again. Thanks.